I was born in Sudbury, Ontario, and then moved to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. We learned to skate before we learned to walk there, of course. I don't look upon my background as at all deprived, uh, but I realized early on, as did my sister and my brother, that we would have to get on with life, and we did. If I needed a new bike at age nine or a new pair of blue jeans at age 10, we'd earn the money from your paper route or delivering for the drugstore or whatever, and you got on with it. My mom was a really hardworking uh, woman who um, helped to support the family income by actually working as a nurse's assistant in the local hospital on the night shift uh, for about seven or eight years. Dad was a good man, a man with a good sense of humor. Uh, he had a grade 10 education. Um, he struggled. He was unemployed for a period of time when, uh, when I was in high school, and uh, uh, he did his best. My mother contracted breast cancer when she was early 40s, which is early on, and uh, I suppose uh, certainly the fear of loss of mother is a uh, huge, um, formidable um, force that um, just rivets you. And then she began to lose her eyesight and she became blind. And she was a wonderfully courageous woman. Scott Peck in his famous book, The Road Less Traveled said, life is difficult. Now that you understand that, get on and manage it. Life always has difficulties, so we have adversity every day, but that we learn to enhance our capacity to manage adversity, uh, to overcome it, and then to learn from it, to say, um, well, when it comes along again, uh, what will I do a little differently? If one has found challenges, there's always been a whole lot of help to ensure that you could find your way over them and through them. I love this country. Well, it's been built on the premise of life shall be better for our children, and that each of us has a responsibility to work to make life better for our children and for our neighbors' children and our community's children. When I was installed in my current job, I said to the audience there, if you remember only three words of what I say today, they are cherish our teachers. I can tell you a hundred or more stories of teachers, mentors, coaches, advisors who have made a difference in my life. Education is important to me. Develop your talents just as much as you possibly can. Pursue your education with a passion and then be conscious of the fact that it's very important and I think very satisfying to use those talents and that energy to help other people along also. My favorite motto is probably from Hamlet. It's a very famous passage, is to thine own self it be true, and it shall follow as the night, the day, that thou canst not then be false to anyone. So when you're true to yourself, what does that mean? It means you're true to the values that make you up. Becoming a member of the Horatio Alger Association for me it's a matter of great pride, but it carries with it also a responsibility, and that's continue to do things to, to give others that hand up. Not a handout, but a hand up.